gentleman from Boone for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, to require the handler of the amendment. Does the gentleman from Cass yield? He does. Proceed. Uh, gentlemen, so you're an insurgents agent. Yes, sir. And you're offering this earlier, you said, on behalf of all the insurgents agents. Yes. And so the way I understand it, if somebody is injured, if a 16-year-old kid who is, has insurance paid for by his parents is out messing around and driving kind of crazy, and they hit somebody who doesn't have a hardworking person who just got laid off from their job, and that person is injured, but the 16-year-old kid is in, in uninsured, and that 16-year-old kid, as long as he's not drunk, that uninsured motorist who just got laid off from their job has no recourse against that 16-year-old whose parents pay his insurance. Is that correct? Yes. That's Other correct. Other than actual medical damages and lost wages. Okay. Other than that, that person who's got laid off from their job has no recourse against a 16-year-old kid who's driving crazy and his insurance is paid for by their parents, and you're doing this on behalf of insurance agents. The BI portion of the child's policy that mom and dad are paying for called bodily injury, the BI limit would be available for the claimant to receive their actual medical bills. And but, other than, lost but they would have no punitive damages. Experience. They'd have no rights in court for punitive damages, and this is being done on behalf of insurance, insurance agents. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. Mr. Speaker, speak on the bill. Proceed, Jonathan Boone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we know it's the last day of session. We know that this is the day when a lot of issues live and a lot of issues die. Uh, we know that this issue is brought, uh, as the, the handler of the amendment says, on behalf of insurance agents. It's brought in a way that would limit the rights of hardworking individuals who got laid off from their jobs. In this economy, we know people are struggling more than ever. And if they're injured by someone else, even if they're driving carelessly, even if they're maybe speeding, we've limited their rights to be compensated for those damages. Mr. Speaker, we know there's times we're trying to figure out who's behind bills. Where there's, there's a mystery on the House floor. Who's pushing what? This is a situation where we know because the handler of the amendment, someone who does sell insurance himself, has said he's doing it on behalf of insurance companies. This is a very clear amendment, Mr. Speaker. There's no, there's no, no reason to look what's behind the curtain. We know what's going on. On the last day, in the last hours, we're attempting to hand, give a handout to insurance companies in this state at the price of low-income, hardworking Missourians who are attempting to make it in today's economy. I ask the body to vote against this amendment. 